so hello everyone my name is shankar and welcome to my youtube channel today in this video we will start with basics of python so let's get started i am using something called as jupyter notebook which comes bundled with anaconda distribution i will cover the installation and installation and how to spin up a jupyter notebook in upcoming videos so this is how a jupyter notebook looks like once it is launched to create a new blank notebook you just need to click on new and select python so here you click on new and select python so that python 3 or python 2 depends on whichever version of python that you have installed all right so we are now on to a new blank notebook where we can write and execute our python code okay so first of all before writing anything in python so what is python i am not searching on definition but rather on an important point which is it is a dynamically typed language so what is it it is a dynamically typed language okay so what do you mean by dynamically typed language it means that while creating any variable to hold any values value we do not need to specify the type of the data that it is being created to store okay in short type of the variable is determined only during the runtime of the program okay so i will demonstrate what we mean by that all right so let's say i want to create a variable and store some integer number in it okay so how i can do that in python I can just say give some name to a variable let's say I call it as a and then I want to store some number 33 so if I execute this that's it so a now will have the value 33 in it. so if you want to check the data type of it you can just use the type method and say which variable type you want to identify I just pass a the variable that I just created and I execute it so it is returning me int so it means that a is of type integer because it is holding a value of 33 okay so listen to this sentence carefully guys a is a type of integer because it is holding value 33 okay now in future if i change a is equal to 1.5 okay now if i check its type it will be floating point so this is what we mean by dynamically typed language the type of any variable is determined only during its runtime so earlier it was of type int now it is of type float okay i hope that is clear okay let's get ahead now we have three basic data types in python okay so one is numeric next is string and the other one is boolean okay so when it comes to numeric we have something called as integers floating points floating point numbers and then complex numbers okay string it's a collection of characters enclosed within double or single quotes so if any value we are enclosing it in single or double quotes that will be treated as string okay and then we have boolean it can either be true or false okay now we will go and check in detail what each type of the data types can do okay so let's get started with integer as stated earlier let's create a variable by name a and store some value in it 20 okay so if i say print a or in notebooks jupyter notebooks you can just say a and execute that cell you will see the output now if i type if i if i want to check the type of the a data type of a i just type type method and pass in a to that now i am getting to see int because a is storing value 20 which is a type of integer okay now you can do all type of mathematical operations on top of that and store the value in the 
different variable. Let's say I'm creating something called as result and then I'm adding 10 to A. So initially A was storing 20. Now I'm adding 10 to that 20 and storing that result in a variable called as result. So if I just check the value stored in the result, it will be 30. But A will still have 20 in it because I am not altering the value of A here. I am just adding some value to it and then storing the result into a variable called as result. Now what will be the type of the result? Type of result will be int. Okay. Now if I am adding a floating point number to an integer variable. Let us say I am adding 5.6. So what was the value of A? A was storing value 20. Now I am adding 5.6 to that 20. So my result will be 25.6. Now if I type type of result, I will get to see the data type is float because result is storing the value 25.6 which is a floating point number. Okay, So this is the float. Now let us say I am creating another variable COMP or let us be clear on that complex num. You cannot use complex because complex is the keyword in Python. Okay. So how you can determine that if you just say complex it will be highlighted in red. Right. So this tells us that it is a inbuilt keyword. So we cannot use that for variable name. So let us say complex underscore number is equal to. So complex numbers have two parts right. One is real and another is imaginary. So let us have a real part as 3 and imaginary part as 4 which is represented by 3 plus 4j. Now if I check the type of this complex number variable it returns me complex. So as we know complex numbers have real and imaginary types right I just told earlier. So we can fetch individual parts by using complex number which is a variable name dot real real is a real part so it will return me what 3 right so 3.0 now if i say complex number dot i am ag which is for imaginary now i will be getting 4 which is associated with the imaginary part of it understood guys so this is the complex number now just like we did some arithmetic operations on integer, we can do same or similar operations on floating point numbers as well. Okay, So I do not have to do that, do that again. You guys can try it yourself. Now let us go to string. Let us say I want to create a variable called full name which stores first name and last name. Okay, So my first name is Shankar and last name is Pencil. Okay. Remember to create the string we have to enclose the values within single or double quotes. I can either use single quotes or I can even use double quotes. Okay. So if you check the type of first name it will be string. Type of last name it will be string. Does not matter if you are using single quotes or double quotes it will still be string. Now, I want to have a full name which is the combination of first and last name, right? So, what I can do? I can say first name plus last name. So, this will give me the full name. If I just print out full name, you can see it concatenated both these variables into a single variable, okay? So here the plus sign will not return any error because if it is applied on strings, it will act as a concatenation operator. You see guys here, I want to have a space between first name and last name. So you can see here there is no space, right? So what if I want to introduce the space between first and last name? So I can simply say full name is equal to first name plus I want space right so I will enclose a blank space within single quotes which will also be a string then I will concatenate it with last name. Now if I say 
full name and execute the cell boom you will see shankar space pencil so this is the basic string operations and basic data types with python oh sorry i forgot about boolean as well so let's talk about boolean as well so let's say i have a variable called as covid okay so if a person has covid i need to assign true to that or else i need to assign false to it okay let's say a person walks in and gives a swap for the test and that test turns out to be positive so i mark covid as true for that particular person so here it is if i now check type of the variable covid it will say bool bool stands for boolean let's say other person walks in and his test turns out to be negative so he doesn't have covid i can assign false to covid variable if i now check the type of the covid variable it will still be boolean because why covid is uh, showing the type of boolean because it is storing the true or false values which falls under boolean category okay so that's why the type of the variable is showing as boolean so hope you guys enjoyed this video this is just the beginning i will go in detail with string operations what all operations we can do what are all the inbuilt methods available within string in the next videos so thank you one and all keep updated and keep learning